first with this um, project. We wanted to identify people in situation of energy poverty as by the civil parish and by the health center. We want to get these people the help that they need by referring and forwarding them to a support line about energy poverty. We also want to analyze the, the interaction between energy poverty and the specific vulnerabilities and health issues. And also at a later stage, uh, we want to share our knowledge with the other health centers and other municipalities so that they can create policies to alleviate energy poverty and make our community more healthier and resilient. In Ireland, we're going to work with South Dublin County Council, uh, supported by the Slotcher Care Programme for Local Authorities in Ireland, which is funded by the Irish Government. We're engaging energy poor households in the Dundalkin area of South Dublin County. The objective is to engage with a targeted set of households, those suffering from energy poverty, but also those who have health vulnerabilities and other vulnerabilities to engage with them, to understand how they relate to energy, how to use energy, what energy means to them in their daily life, to, under, to get an appreciation of their dwelling and what the limitations and the issues are with their dwelling, and to provide them with small measures which can help to alleviate some of these problems, advice on energy use, and support and follow on then from that. Coupled with that then, we plan on, on capacity building within the local authority to give money to people who are engaging with these households are technical in nature, so therefore they will not be have the skill set to engage with people perhaps in a social setting and to capture that type of important source of information that we need to gather. So we'll be undertaking capacity building both within the local authority itself, but also within a range of stakeholders in the locality, including NGOs and other supporting agencies. I think we are going to have some differences, of course, between our projects. Uh, I think Portugal has more daily sun hours. The temperature is uh, higher throughout the year. But I think that health issues and energy poverty conditions, we can find uh, similar grounds in both projects. There are fundamental differences between Ireland and Portugal. The sun being a very obvious one, the temperatures, the amount of rain and precipitation the dampness in the air. So all of this will have huge implications for how we engage with householders and the needs of householders. A particular issue in Ireland and, and maybe to a lesser extent in Portugal will be dampness in homes and the healthy homes from that and the growth of mould and, and what that might mean for people's health. So I think there's always going to be cross learnings between different engagements and there'll be lessons that can be taken on board. But it is very much a bespoke issue when you engage with communities and that's not just between countries but also between communities, because every community is different. Part of our approach in the Irish case is that we, we will um, try to understand the communities that we engage with before we, before we go out and start talking to them, because you only get one chance to make a first impression. Mm -hmm.